I need you to take over. I'm on the case. What's up? How do I know you didn't forge the note you gave Ned? Forge the note? Is forgery even a thing people do anymore? Yes, it happens all the time. That's stupid. I would have just typed it up, printed it out, cut out the middleman. Do you visit the novelty shop often? Sure, I love that place. I demanded that Tony go there, and now she's super into it too. Why do you go to the novelty shop so often? We've been having a lot of house parties lately, so I go a lot. You know, it's a shame that you never come to our parties. I'm not much of a party person. I know, that's so sad for you. Do you know anything about Alexi? Right. Him. I'm not a fan. He's got old man weirdness and old man smell. I don't know if one causes the other or if that's just how he rolls. We shouldn't even have to deal with him. He should have been arrested years ago. Arrested? For what? Oh, it's nothing. I'd really like to know why you think Alexi should have been arrested. I see that. Are you going to tell me? No, probably not. Why don't you go ask him yourself if you care so much? See you later. Later. George, look. She's refusing to move. All I want to do is snoop through her stuff, and she's making that impossible. Can you help? Go make her move. Ugh, fine. Hi. Would you like to go for a walk somewhere? No. Okay, good talk. Bye. See ya! How did it go? It doesn't look like it worked. Brilliant observation. I see why you're the one doing the stakeout. Ouch. Uncalled for. Sorry. I just want Nancy out. Now. She must be getting worried. What do you think Brenda is up to? Shh. Sorry. Can't talk about this now. Suspect is on the move. Wait. False alarm. Suspect is just grabbing a snack. Suspect loves snacking. Bye. Talk to you later. Greetings. I'm looking for a gift for my uncle. He's a real... train buff. Can you help me find something special for him? Now that's a question I like. You got it. I'm gonna go see what I got in the back. Just hold on. Looks like I won something. Salutations. What do you know about Brenda? The reporter? She was in your pestering me earlier today, too. Are you all taking turns or something? Send the next guy in with a sandwich, would you? What did Brenda ask while she was here? I don't like it when people ask me questions. Right now, you are pestering me with questions about previous questions that I was pestered with earlier. It's just recursive and rude, and now I have a headache. Do you have any antique radios? Maybe in the back of the store? Sure.
No prints. Alexi must have polished them off. Perfect. Alexi want with an empty bottle of ether? Great to see you again. You've impersonated Nancy in the past, haven't you? Possibly. I've done some crazy things to get a story. It's part of the job. How crazy? I can't give away my methods. A lot of what I do is setting up a trap and seeing if anyone falls for it. And when they do, wham! See you at 11, cause you just got nined. That's not exactly news. Nope, it's better. It's actually interesting. Why were you at the antique store? Trying to get some background on Alexi. Didn't go all that well. Why not? He's not a fan of the media. And he's cranky, and he's old, and I broke one of his things on accident, and he would not let it go. What do you think of Nancy? On the record or off the record? Just... honestly. So off the record, then. I think she's in big trouble and way, way out of her depth. And on the record? Well, gosh. She's just another example of what makes this town so special. I'd like to interview you about the fire. All right. Do your worst. Who would want to see the old town hall burn down? Don't know. Don't care. Has Nancy always been interested in starting fires, or is that a recent development? You didn't answer my question. So, you're reluctant to say. Probably not a recent thing, then. Tell me about Nancy's dark side. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Nancy. Okay, my turn. Wait, you didn't let me ask a question. Yes, I did. You asked me what I was talking about, and I said Nancy. Speaking of Nancy, is it true that she's been known to skirt the law when she's on a case? No. So then she just flagrantly breaks the law. Good to know. Stop, that's not what I said. I don't want to be interviewed. I just need to find out what's going on with Nancy. Okay, all right. I'll put the kid gloves back on. Everyone in this town is so shy. I'd kill for a little verbal sparring now and again. You gotta be primed and ready for the big time. And I get nothing here. So you're looking to move on in your career? Yep. Believe it or not, this backwater burg doesn't cut it for me. You didn't treat us fairly in the articles you wrote. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I change what you said? No, you took what was said out of context. It seemed that way, but trust me, it's not what happened. It's common for subjects to be nervous and forget what they've said. You can't blame me for that. You'll get better. Anytime you want to practice, let me know. We could talk about Nancy. Have you turned up anything on Tony? I'd love to. That's the only thing that can make this story better. What do you mean? Tragedy? Government cover-up? Now that's a national story. I would kill for Tony to be wrapped up in this. Do you think Tony might actually be behind the fire? My sense tells me no. But my ratings say please, please let it be her. Why? She looks all upstanding. But she's on the take. I mean, she just has to be. Deirdre said she intercepted a note intended for Nancy. What do you mean? She was following Nancy and snagged the note. So, someone was trying to lure Nancy to the fire with a note? Yes, exactly! What's to say she didn't write the note herself? I've seen that sort of thing before. What's to say she did? Basic logic. 
I couldn't possibly be guilty. Look at this note that anyone could have written. It's desperate. What do you know about Tony and the fire? I've got it on good authority that she was putting the squeeze on the police to take someone into custody. Didn't seem to care who took the fall, as long as it happened fast. Did she push for Nancy to be arrested? Doubt she even gave it that much thought. She wanted the fire off her list and in yesterday's headlines on the double. See you later. Bye. We found ether at Alexi's shop. Really? That seems out of place at an antique shop. It's on the list of commonly used accelerants for fires. Good find. How's the investigation coming? All right. It looks like I'm going to be able to use some of the equipment around here. If I don't get caught, that is. I don't understand why they won't just let you out. Since all of the evidence is stacked against me, they want a little proof that I didn't do it. Still, it doesn't seem fair. Trust me. I'm with you on that one. Bye. Goodbye. I'm turning the case over to you. Nancy Drew, taking over. Please state your name for the record. Nancy Drew. Where were you when the fire broke out? I was locked in the room where the fire started. What were you doing there? I was following a lead for the clues challenge. Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? The fire spread through the whole building in a matter of seconds. What was the color of the smoke? Black. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? It sounded like there was someone else in the... Did you see anyone else at the scene? Deirdre Shannon. Do you believe someone intent... Well, yes. I just don't know who did it. State your name for the record. Deirdre Shannon. Where were you during the fire? On the side lawn. What were you doing in the area at that time? I was out jogging. Did you notice anything strange about the way the fire was burning? The strangest part was that the building was on fire. What color smoke did you see? I don't know. Smoke colored smoke? Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? Yes. It took a very long time for the fire department to arrive. Do you really want to start down that path with me, Shannon? Because I don't think you do. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? No, I don't think I did. Do you believe someone intentionally started the fire? If so, who? I thought you had that part all figured out. Please state your name for the record. Antonia Scolari. Where were you when the fire broke out? On the side lawn. What were you doing there? Canvassing the area. It's election season, which reminds me. Let's chat when you're done here. What was the color of the smoke? Is this a thing I need to know? Well, couldn't really tell. I can tell you that it did not smell great. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? For an old abandoned town hall, there sure seemed to be a lot of folks hanging around. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? Yes. Brenda Carlton, Nancy Drew, Alexi, too. And it's not the first time I've seen him creeping around that area. Did you believe someone intentionally started the fire? If so, who? Whoever it was is going to pay. I'll see to it personally. 
State your name for the record. Brenda Carlton, Heights 9 reporter. Where were you when the fire broke out? I was working that beat, so I was in the neighborhood. What were you doing there? Working. I already said that. Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? I've covered a lot of fires, and they all look different. I wish I could tell you more. The main takeaway here is that, thankfully, no one was inside at the time. What was the color of the smoke? That I know. It was a nice, thick, almost supple gray. It really popped nicely with the light setup I was using. Usually you see thin black strands that are hard to pick up on camera. This was nice. Really looked sharp. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? Yes. Nancy Drew exited the building while it was burning. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? Yes, Nancy, of course. The Shannon girl was there. Councilwoman Scolari and Alexi, the owner of the antique store, were there as well. Do you believe someone intentionally started the fire? Who? In my line of work, we're not allowed to jump to conclusions. But when Nancy Drew strolls out of a burning building looking guilty, I'd say you've got your answer right there. State your name for the record. Alexei Markovic. Where were you when the fire broke out? I was out for a walk in the area. What made you go for a walk? It was a nice night. Do I need any more of a reason? Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? Well, the whole thing was strange. That fire shouldn't have taken hold. The sprinkler system should have kicked in and doused it. What color smoke did you see? Black. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? Such as what? The entire vent was strange by nature. Who else did you see at the fire? I saw some people. I don't know. There was a lot going on. It was hard to focus. Do you have reason to believe that someone would have started the fire on purpose? Absolutely not. That building is the heart of this town. There isn't one person in this town cruel or reckless enough to destroy it. Remember Alexei Markovic? He was one of your first cases. That was a long time ago. Do you think he was guilty? The case wasn't that simple. Why not? There was a lot of evidence stacked up against him. As a prosecutor, I couldn't just ignore it. I know that, but did you think he was guilty? It didn't matter what I thought. I could tell from the start that the jury wanted him locked up. It was a very strange case. I mentioned it to the judge, and he told me that I was too new to the courtroom to make that kind of judgment. I believed him. And now? Now, I don't know. I wish I had listened to my instincts back then. From that day forward, Alexei went on to be an honest member of the community. And the Bennington family went on to cause no end of scandal. That right there speaks volumes. Any luck getting me out of jail? No such luck just yet. But I'm working on getting a ticket home. You don't need to do that. I'll figure this out. There's no way I can stay here knowing what you're going through back home. I'm getting a ticket home ASAP. You won't change my mind. Thanks, Dad. It's the least I can do. I talked to the chief. He's not going to budge. Oh, shoot. But look, you do whatever you need to do until I get back. I trust your judgment. If you run into any trouble with the chief, come to me. Okay. I should get going. I'll see you soon. Hi. Ned, we need to get Deirdre's fingerprint. See if you can distract her. Distract her? Maybe invite her out on a date. Anything so that we can get her fingerprint. Can do. Your turn to take over. Time to help Nancy. I 
I was wondering if you... Yes? Maybe we could go grab some food together. Yes, I would like that. I can't go out like this. I'm going to have to go get ready. But you're out already. Oh, Nedwin. I know you're used to spending time with Nancy Drew, but not all girls are like that. Some of us find better ways to spend our time than playing detective. Yes, got it. Any big breaks? Thanks. Bye. Bye. You should take over. Nancy Drew taking over. It's your turn to take the case. George, reporting for duty. Great to see you again. Is there a way I could get in touch with you later? Good question. Why don't you take one of my cards? My phone's always off when I'm on scene, but I check my messages constantly. I'll call back if it's important. If you want to talk about Nancy, off the record even, I'm always there for you. Bye. Drop by if you've got any hot tips. I can't use my phone here. the Heights 9 action news tip line for Brenda Carlton. Please speak clearly when prompted. To report breaking news in the North River Heights area, say yes. Otherwise, say no. Yes. You have indicated a breaking news story in the North River Heights area. Brenda Carlton will be notified directly. Goodbye. Perfect. Acetone. That's one of the accelerants. I'm turning the case over to you. 
I'm on the case. It's Brenda. 